protein rating? There are probably tons of people out there who are super successful, but everyone back home just knows them as the kid who peed their pants in math class. That's how the Huntington protein feels. It probably does something super important in our bodies, but we really only know it as the protein who likes to accumulate mutations and cause disease. In fact, we named it after the disease. Huntington's. Huntington is massive, containing over 3,000 amino acids. Compare that to P53's 400 amino acids and Ubiquitin's 76. We think Huntington is needed for transport, helping molecules go where they need to go within a cell. And this is vital to our survival. I'm talking energy regulation, I'm talking cell-to-cell -cell communication. If our cells can't do any of those things, then we can't be alive. Now what organ requires a crazy amount of energy and needs to be in constant communication with the rest of our body? Brain. Brain need energy? A single neuron can contain up to two million mitochondria in order to help make that energy and to make, package, and release neurotransmitters. Neurotransmitters compose the language spoken between neurons. We're pretty sure hunting tin is involved with mitochondria because of what happens when it loses sight of itself and causes Huntington's disease. Huntington's is a neurodegenerative disease, meaning that neurons in certain areas will degenerate and die. The Huntington gene is actually the culprit here. It accumulates a bunch of trinucleotide repeats, which is a sequence of three nucleotides that's copy-pasted over and over and over again. The Huntington gene likes to specifically pick up a bunch of CAG repeats, C-A-G, and this nucleotide sequence codes for the amino acid glutamine. As a result, the final protein product is going to have way more glutamines than it needs to. This right here has 128 glutamines versus a more normal Huntington that would have about 26 glutamines. This insane change to the protein structure devastates neuronal function by interfering with every single process that I mentioned before. Even when enzymes attempt to break it down, the fragments will still form aggregates that overwhelm the cell and lead to neuron death. Mutant Huntington's favorite playground is the basal ganglia, shown here in blue, and is supposed to suppress unwanted movements. Inhibitory neurons here get completely decimated by the mutant Huntington, leading to unwanted excitation of motor circuits. And this underlies the principal symptom of Huntington's, jerky, uncontrolled movements. The mutant gene is inherited in an autosomal dominant fashion, meaning that there only needs to be one copy present in order for someone to have the disease. The amount of CAG repeats can increase throughout someone's lifetime as their cells continue to divide, meaning that a parent who has a slight increase in CAGs could potentially have a child who is more at risk for actually developing Huntington's disease. 10 out of 10 for the protein, supporting everyone's favorite organelle. Zero out of 10 for the gene.